hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing an unboxing of my maxi charm box so i figured i'd do an unboxing as well as try out some of the products in front of the camera um i don't really know what's in this box i do know i'm gonna get a palette so i'll be trying to create an eye look for you guys all right so let's just go right ahead and jump on into this video okay so i currently have um the box in front of me right here so i'm gonna go open it up um this is what it looks like inside oops <laughs> this is what it looks like inside i just dropped something so let's see what i dropped i got a bodyography eyeliner um Oh, that's kind of really pretty. That's actually a really pretty eyeliner. So let's see if we can use that. The next thing I got is an Artist Couture or Loose Powder Highlight. Oh, darn it. I already put on highlighter, but we'll just put this on too. I've actually heard a lot about Artist Couture. I follow them on Instagram and they have really, really cute stuff. Um... I don't know how I'm gonna open this. Six hours later. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside, and I am actually kind of struggling on how to open this. this is I got it. <laughs> oh my god. If you guys get this, there's a little sticker that you guys have to kind of twist the top um, to get it open. But, hmm. Alright, let's. Oh. Um, I've kind of sprinkled a lot on me. Let's just go ahead and grab a brush and put this on, I guess. Um, let's see, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna dust. Whoa, whoa, <gasps> do you guys see that? <laughs> wow that is pigmented um okay let's go ahead and put that on the other side i'm kind of blending it into my hand also so you guys can see it but let's go ahead and put that there wow look at that glow that is a really really good this is what it looks like on the back of my hand it's very pinky um it's very pink and has like a purple undertone this one is called purple dream so makes sense why it has a purple undertone but god that is that's really gorgeous okay next we have a holographic lip gloss interesting this is um by appeal it's a holographic lip gloss Let's go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I don't really have anything on my lips right now, so we'll see. And yes, I am using the viewfinder. Hmm. I don't really get anything. Actually get my mirror and put this on because I'm not really seeing it much. So it's a very it is a very creamy lip gloss. It's not very sticky at all. This is what it looks like. If you can see, there's actually like little flecks of glitter in that. So, makes my lips look bigger, which is good. Um, but yeah, that is the lip gloss. It's very creamy, not sticky at all. And yeah, it looks really nice. Okay, next item that I received is a Luxie um, Summer Days brush set. I probably should have applied the highlight. Um, the highlight. But it looks like this. I actually really, really like Luxie brushes. I use a lot of their eyeshadow brushes that I get from BoxyCharm as well as their um, base brushes that I also get from BoxyCharm. But they have really, really good brushes. So I can always get happy um, whenever I get brushes from them. Um, I actually haven't needed to buy any new brushes because BoxyCharm is always sending us stuff, which is really great. Um, but these are what the brushes look like. 
Um, so you get a small contouring brush, which should be perfect for like bronzers or we're going to contour the nose. We also get a small shader for the eyeshadow and a large shader. So I'll go ahead and be using this when I dive into this next product, which is the Pure Festival. This is a pressed pigment palette. Let's go ahead and open this up. So this is what the palette looks like inside. I'll go ahead and open that up for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this protector. Ooh, okay, let's, I'm looking at this and trying to figure out what eye look I'm gonna create right now. And I have no clue. I, I don't venture off into colorful colors. Sometimes every now and then I add like a pop of blue. But, wow, okay. This is what the palette looks like right here. So that's what it looks like. Um, I'll go ahead and I kind of really want to get into this 24K magic. I'm going to swatch that. Okay. Oh, wow. That is pure glitter right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's very creamy. It is a bit patchy. But, I mean, that is glitter for you. Um, wow. Okay. Um, let's see the other swatches. Okay, so I just swatched those. And these are actually really pretty. Um, they're very pigmented and they're very, very creamy. Um, I've tried pure eyeshadows before and I didn't really like them. I didn't feel like it was pigmented enough and I just, it just didn't work for me. But this palette is really pretty and I can really see people using this at the festival. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to pad my eyelids just so we can really see um, what these colors look like. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and use this color. So with my Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush, I'm going to go ahead and get this color Epic. And I'm going to, ooh, there's a lot of fallout. I'm going to go ahead and put that over my lid as a transition color. I'm not a makeup guru. Let me just remind you. And with eyeshadow around with it but I'm not perfect and with eyeshadow I'm still learning I just figured out this technique um, for my eyes where the lady at MAC started from the top and blended it in and out like um, in and out wiper motions um, before I would start from here and blend it but I actually like how she started from the high point of my eye so that is what that looks like that's actually a really really pretty transition color so let's see next I'm gonna go ahead and go with this hidden the hidden desert color right here there is a lot of fallout that comes with this eyeshadow brush you guys see that that's a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the outer corner of my eye. Looks like someone beat me up. Wow, there is a lot of fallout in this. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and switch my brushes. Um, I'm gonna use the Morphe. I'm not sure which Morphe brush this is because the number has died down or um, the number has faded. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep on blending that red. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go back with my Lexi brush and I'm just going to... Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the brush that came in my BoxyCharm for this month. I'm gonna use the large shader. Hmm, 
trying to decide which color I should go for. I actually really like the sunset color. So I'm going to go ahead and go into sunset. definitely do get a lot of fallout look at this so much fallout use the small shader and I'm gonna go into this color right here good vibes I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush okay so you definitely do want to wet your brush for this um, it really picked up the color much more and made it blend more better. But I'm going to go ahead and go back into my Morphe brush. I'm going to get this color all night. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to be a bit adventurous. And I'm going to try to get this pink and put it under my eye. is really pigmented and I just literally made myself look like I'm dying I just made myself look like I'm dying but you know what let me change it up so I'm gonna go get this large shader I'm gonna put some pink on the corner on this part of my eye okay so my camera died but I am looking very very sickly right now trust me i'm gonna i'm gonna try to make this work i don't know how but i'm gonna go ahead and go back to head and sunset don't like this eyeliner it's not gonna show so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go with my mac brush stroke and i'm gonna go ahead and put some eyeliner into this look because it's not working Okay, you guys, I feel like this lighting isn't enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop some eyelashes and then show you what the finished look is. Also, I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. Hey okay, guys, <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna look good, but it actually turned out really pretty. This is what the final look is. I did put on some um lip liner underneath the holographic lipstick um but this is what it looks like the highlighter is still going well um, i literally thought the <laughs> shadow was going to turn into a complete mess but i was able to fix it personally if you are not very adventurous in your colors there are some shades in here that can do with like a nice like brown shimmer other shimmer shades are very like color friendly meaning like they're very easy to use so you're not if you're not very well versed in creating like creative colors like i am and you probably would want to stay away from the purples and pinks or else you'll look be you'll be looking like freaking helena in um orphan black if you guys ever watch that show you know what i'm talking about but i definitely do really like the eyeshadow i'm gonna go ahead and be playing with it some more especially with the shimmers um and summer is coming up so definitely do want to venture out and play with more color all right so let's just go over the products that i received in my boxy charm so far with the eyeshadows i definitely do like this palette a lot more than the other pure palettes that i've received before i feel like the colors are much more easier to play with especially the shimmers the shimmers are very pretty you do get um the wild child and gypsy colors if you do want to play with a bit of color but i'm not sure you can go ahead and play around with that which i feel is nice um and just the glitter is really really pretty you definitely want to play around with the glitter some more i feel like you can really create a basic look if you're just using these um four colors right here at the bottom even this color so like just like this l shape right here you can really create a basic look if you don't play around with color a lot um if you do there is like the gypsy and wild child they're such pretty gorgeous colors and i do want to learn how to play around with that some more um i think the brushes are really really good as i said i love lexi brush lexi brushes i think they're just very soft um they work really well i use a lot of the lexi brushes for my eyes as well as my face so 
there was no doubt I wasn't gonna like this. With the Appeal Holographic Gloss, I didn't really like this. I like how it's not sticky like other lip glosses are. It's very creamy, but when I did try to put this on again, I couldn't really get a lot of the product. I felt like I was not putting anything on, even though I dipped it in so many times. Um, so I probably will be playing around with this some more and just seeing how it works. Um, but I'm just not a big fan of this one. It's okay. The highlight. This is really good. Um, it's such a good highlight. I definitely want to try more of Artist Couture's um, products, especially the highlighters. Always look bomb on Instagram. So I'm definitely happy that I got this and got to try that out. I mean, look at that. That is such a pretty, and look, it's still on my hand. And it's just very, very very pretty um so i'm definitely happy about that the last thing i got was the eyeliner pencil when i did swatch this it looked really nice but honestly it did not show up on my eyes at all i did try to put it on the waterline but it was just not showing up so i just gave up uh, maybe if i wasn't playing around with too much color i'll probably try this again it is like really really pretty when you swatch it on your hands um right there it's such a pretty bronze color but i'm gonna have to play with this some more and see if it actually really does show up on my skin um a lot of pencil eyeliners like this don't really show up when i use them so i'm always very not happy when i get eyeliner so that is all i got for this month's boxy charm um overall i'm quite happy i mean like if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, BoxyCharm is only $21 a month and you get all these products. So I got five products for only $21 a month. Just this palette alone is $36, so you definitely get more for your buck. Um, I definitely recommend trying it, especially if you are wanting to try makeup but you just don't know where to start. I think BoxyCharm provides really great products for people who just want to start up and build their makeup collection. Like I said, definitely get so many of these brushes alone and I don't I don't really have to purchase any more brushes anymore because it's always coming into my BoxyCharm. Um, but yeah, that is it for the video. Let me know your thoughts. If you're signed up for BoxyCharm with your favorite month and stuff that you've gotten from it um let me know what you think of this makeup look like i said it was, <laughs> it was actually very very hard to recreate a makeup look um definitely comment down below if you guys like this style of video if you guys want me to do monthly boxy charm unboxings as well as test out the products and give out my first impressions i will be happy to do so um but yeah that is it for today's video so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed that and seeing my first impressions of me trying out my boxy charm like i said i normally do um boxy charm unboxings on my instagram but this time i decided to do unboxing on camera as well as try out and try try to create a makeup look with these products this is not sponsored i don't even think box does boxy charm sponsor people but um, I love BoxyCharm. If you do want to subscribe to BoxyCharm, I will leave down a link below. Um, it is only $21 a month and you get all these products, which is really great. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys next time.